Many thanks for joining us at this time. President Bola Tinubu has declared that despite the nation's current rate of energy supply, his administration is poised to address all the obstacles mitigating against stable electricity supply in the country. He said his administration will bring solution to the multifarious challenges across the electric, electric power sector value chain, which will significantly relieve long-standing problems, also suppress demand and improve the steadiness of peak supply for Nigerians affirming that improved energy generation and distribution is an imperative for accelerated national growth. Correspondent Nabuchi Oke Nabuchi sent in this report. President Tinubu spoke at a groundbreaking ceremony of the new 350 megawatts Guagalada Independent Thermal Power Plant Phase 1 where he the NNPC and its partners to deliver the landmark project within the promised three years completion timeline, insisting that three years must be three years. This administration is equally poised to address all power value chain challenges and reduce the power related hardship we experience by too many of our citizens. Taking advantage of the global declaration that gas is a transitional fuel, as well as enabling provision of the Petroleum Industry Act, which attract greater investments. President Tinumbo pledged his administration's commitment to address the power challenges and gas utilization with a clear focus on advancing the diversification of its energy mix. In addition, Nigeria will continue to vigorously pursue the implementation of other low carbon energy solutions such as solar, hydro, wind, thermal, and biofuel for both all grid and off grid power systems. We will focus on rural electrification to improve the standard of living of people in rural communities. The group chief executive officer of the NNPCL Limited, Malam Mele Kihari, stated that the NNPCL will leverage on the nation's endowment of gas resources to power the nation's industrial growth and stimulate happy course job creation. Having that through the project, the NNPCL would be providing a huge boost to the nation grid. Kihari assured the president that NNPCL will continue to execute power projects to enhance energy security, noting that several of such have already been completed. This, according to the NNPCO Group CEO, includes a 500 megawatt Madugri power plant and the 900 megawatt and 1,300 megawatt power plant in Kaduna and Kano, respectively. NNPC sees these projects as an opportunity to monetize our abundant natural gas resources by expanding access to energy to support economic growth, industrialization, and job creation across the country. To achieve this national aspiration, NSPD has invested heavily in domestic gas footprints expansion projects through the delivery of the Trans-Nigeria Gas Pipeline Project, which includes the s Lagos Lagos Pipeline Systems, we call it F1 and F2, the OB3 Gas Pipeline and the Ajakota Kano Gas pipeline. The colorful event was witnessed by many dignitaries and senior government officials, including the Bronu State Governor Professor Mabagana Zulum, Governor of Nasarawa State, represented by his deputy, Rio Fathers, the Chinese ambassador to Nigeria, among others.